Most people in America are quite familiar with what is and isn't their own property. What is absolutely amazing is the number of people who are willing to say, this is not my property, but I am going to abuse it, you see. What I have continued to experience on almost a daily basis is content of my computer being deleted off the front page or the home uh, desktop of my computer. I have also noticed that there has been a number of files being deleted out of my fonts and deleted out of my other folders of organization. I have also noticed that people have removed some, some things, moved them into different folders and moved things around on me and I find this beyond offensive. If anyone was doing this to you, how would you feel? If anyone was doing this to you, what would you think? If anyone was doing this to you, what would you do to try to make it stop and not build such a stink? But the reality is that people do do this. People do abuse other people's possession rights. People do abuse other people's property rights. People do abuse First Amendment violation rights. And people like you and like me don't like it. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about what is and isn't proper in our society. And it is not proper for any human being to be hacking your computer, impeding your use of a telephone, and intervening in which you cannot make a phone call from one state telephone line across the state line. That makes it a federal offense. So let's talk about the compensity and propensity of your ability to not go to jail. And the propensity of your ability to not go to jail is not going to go with you well when the right kind of law enforcement start doing their rightful job. But when the wrong kind of law enforcement try to do things that are illegal by making all their friends call and lie and create illegal records, we have a problem in America. Because we have a group of stalkers, we have a group abusing technology, we have a group abusing with psychological abuse, emotional confrontation as it started in the year. And openly, this is the strategies of the police today. And if I talk about it, I'll still keep getting abused by the shitbags who work in retail companies today that some officer went in and engaged to lie, steal, and cheat a man out of his life goods. And that is not okay. If it was happening to you, you wouldn't like it. I guarantee you wouldn't like it. And when I talk this way, I have the right to talk this way. But I'm not squawking about it. I'm telling you the truth. That people do need support and help, but they need help and support towards their goals for their life, not your goals. You see, God gave them a life plan. God gave them a purpose. God gave them a calling, and it's their job to get themselves to God's calling, God's plan, and everything in life that they need. But the liars of America like to keep driving by and doing things and interrupting people. And here I got another fucking blue line faggot truck from the police driving up on me, because guess what? They're going to come and play with me. So let's just keep recording and see what happens today. Because the liars of America are like that. The liars of America bastardize a flag. The liars of America play two-on-one games. The liars of America interrupt an audio cast. The liars of America interrupt a radio cast. And I'm being contacted. Now, how can I help you? Can I invite you out for a hamburger for free? Uh, not at the moment, but I appreciate that invitation. I'm kind of in the middle of my business presentation, and I appreciate what you're trying to do. Are you a man in the ministry? Is that what you are? No, we just serve a meal every Thursday night downtown. It's not till 6 o'clock. I see. Well, Here's a card. Why don't you come on up and have a free burger with us, if you, if you can make it. I see. And what do you do regularly for a living, sir? This is what I do. Okay. Well, that's a marvelous logo. What is the... I cannot read the language around it with my eyesight. Uh, that's obviously an old Celtic cross, so... Yeah. So what does it say around it? It's just a shirt that says something about serving the weak and protecting those that need protected. Right, you're a blue line crew. I get you. Okay, thanks very much. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye. So I'm the recipient of a CU Church, Love God, Love People. Come and eat dinner with us Thursday night, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Not that that's important, weather permitting, uh, service of having a burger. And the place is 51 East Main Street, Champaign. But obviously the interesting aspect of this situation was exactly what I've seen. That someone else outside of my life has probably called this person to invite me to do things. And my guess is it's one of the Catholic women that approached me earlier today. Or it was one of the Catholic boys. Or possibly it was an immoral staff person in an employee's network of some store. And that's what I'm hearing, importantly, from God that people are immoral and people do cross the lines of propriety and people do invade our lives thinking they're doing something to help me but they're not because they've never ever talked to me 
and openly what I love so marvelously is how the government has put in a government worker who protects me from the FBI right behind their fucking truck. Good luck, motherfuckers.